hey what's up guys this is Vikas once again back with another tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a three step infographics like this so before start creating guys I just want to request you if you are watching this video first time and new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever we upload a new video before starting guys I just want to show you how I have make this whole shape group and duplicate it three times to get a proper result so guys i'm just going to uh, click on the first shape and just right click over here and go to the group and ungroup it to view all the shapes separately so i'm going to drag it over here this shape and i'm going to drag this shape over here now you can see i have created this shape first and the shape second and combine this shape in a special order to get the result like this so guys i am going to press ctrl z to undo and and start creating so i have just add a blank slide here you can add the blank slide with the insert option just go to the insert option and here you will find a new slide option just click over there and you will get a option of a blank in the bottom so you just you just have to click on that and the blank slide is added to your workspace so i'm just going to delete this third one and keep working on the second one so just go to the insert option and choose the shape shape option and after that you just have to click on the around same side corner rectangle this shape you will have to choose so i'm going to choose it and drag it over here like this now you can clearly see a yellow dot here you just have to slide it leftward or rightward it will depend how the sharpness of the edge you want on this shape so i'm just going to drag it over the left side so that i got a full round shape on the top now just go to the shape outline and make it no outline now just go to the rotate option and flip it vertically so that the rounded part will comes in the bottom and the other part of this shape will be placed at the top like this now i'm going to drag it left like this to make it smaller and like this to adjust the shape of this so this is ready now what we'll have to do is we just have to cut this shape like this for a particular angle on a particular angle so that we can get an effect like this cutting effect so i'm just going to choose a rectangle from the shape option just click over there and drag it like this just go to the shape outline and make make it no outline i'm just going to rotate it uh, manually from this rotation handle or you just want to rotate with the values then go to the rotate option and choose more rotation option here here you will get a, a rotation option so just click over there the values you want to click or just make an adjustment like this to rotate this particular shape so i'm just going to rotate use this rotation handle to adjust it very quickly for now i'm just going to uh, fill this shape with a different color like i'm going to choose this color just put this shape or put this rectangle over here and before subtracting these two shapes you just have to make the transparency of these rectangles little bit higher means make this rectangle more transparent so that you can clearly see the uh, shape which we have uh, we have created before this so i'm going to right click over here on this red rectangle and choose the format shape option from here here you, you here you will get a transparency option just uh, drag it right about and now you can see your the shape is clearly visible at this transparency so i'm just going to drag it over here 
like this and make a little bit uh, adjustment here now now what you will have to do is you just have to click the click on the first shape so blue shape and press control on the keyboard and again click on the rectangle shape now go to the format option and go to the merge shape option and choose intersect option from here now you can see the shape is ready so now uh, it's time to create this shape the second shape so for this just go to the insert option and go to the shape option and choose a, a rectangle option from here just drag it over here like this and for now i'm just going to change the shape fill of this rectangle and make it no outline from here just drag this rectangle over here drag it a little bit here like this Now just choose the oval shape, just go to the insert option, choose shape and choose the oval shape from here, press ctrl and shift together and drag it outward to make a regular circle here. Now just go to the shape outline and make it no outline, just put this circle on this shape and choose these two shapes, just click on the red rectangles and press ctrl to the keyboard, ctrl on the keyboard. And select the second circle go to the format option and choose the merge shape option and finally you have to select the fragment option from here now you just have to subtract this unwanted shape so I'm going to delete it and I'm going to select all this red shape which has been fragmented right now and make it union from the merge shape option like this So I think it's uh, it's becomes more longer so I'm going to subtract a little bit part from here so just put a rectangle over here and drag it like this select the first one press ctrl and select the second one again go to the merge shape option and subtract this from here now it's fine send it back just click on the right click over here on the red shape and send it to back like this you can also drag this shape like this to get a desired effect So drag a little bit here now it's time to change the background color here so I'm going to choose format background just right click over here and choose the format background option just choose the gradient fill option and choose like this adjust this left handle to the left and the right handle to the right now just click on the blue shape over here and go to the format option and go to the shape fill option from here and choose a white color from here now for the background option i'm going to slide it a little bit right so that uh, the white shape white shape can be clearly visible and for this I'm going to select again these three color sample from here. Press Ctrl C and put this color sample over here so that we can select the color from here. And for this shape, I'm just going to choose the gradient fill option. And for the left handle, I'm just going to select this shape. And again for the right handle, just click over there and choose the color option. And inside the color option you will find the eyedropper option you just have to click on the eyedropper option and put this eyedropper to the color sample like this and click a single click over here so that you will get a gradient effect here now what you will have to do is we just have to change the type type is perfect but uh, we have to change the direction of this gradient like uh, I'm going to select it left to right now it's perfect now it's time to add the text this text and the icons so I'm just going to choose 
I'm just going to copy these icons, copy this text and paste over here. Control Z and paste, paste it over here like this. Now I'm going to select this text group. Control C and paste this text group over here. Don't worry, I will explain all these font and the font size which I have been using in this infographics or any infographics. So now it's time to select all these shape and press Ctrl G to group it, Ctrl D to duplicate and drag it over here. Again press Ctrl D to duplicate and drag it over here. Now zoom out from the here, zoom out from here and I'm going to select this option and for the right side I just go to the color option, choose eyedropper and choose this color from the color sample. For the left side, just click on the left handle, click on the color option, choose eyedropper and select this darker orange color from the color sample. Now for this shape, I am again going to the right handle, just click over there and sorry. For this shape. Just click on the right handle, click on the color option and choose eyedropper and put this eyedropper to the color sample what uh, the value or what the color you just want to pick up from this sample. So I'm just going to select this darker blue color from for the right side. So just click over there and again choose the means again click on the left handle, go to the color option, choose eyedropper and put this eyedropper to the light blue color from the color sample just click over there now finally what we'll have to do is we have to add these icons so the icon again i have downloaded from the flaticon.com so i will give, give the link of this website in my description so if you want to download this link download this type of icons for free and use these icons in your project then please go there and download from there it's a very awesome website for the icon so i'm just going to copy it by pressing ctrl c on the keyboard and paste it over like this one more thing i just want to discuss here these icons i have created in photoshop so that i can change the color of these icons when you will download it from the flaticons.com then you will get a uh, black color icons from there and the black color icons uh, in the PowerPoint, there is a few options to change the color of the particular icon which have been downloaded from the flatigons.com. So I have used the Photoshop software to fill these icons with the different colors according to my project demand. As you can see here, I have converted these icons into three different colors and used these icons in this particular project. So just click over here and adjust these icons according to their positions and the situations it will look better so this is what we need so finally i'm going to add uh, just choose this big shape and go to the shape field option and here you will found, find a a reflection option just click over there and go to the preset options and choose this one like this again choose this shape this white shape and go to the preset option choose this one and do the same for the third shape group we have which we have uh, placed here like this so the overall effect is ready now it's time to discuss the font size and the font family which which i have use in this particular icon or in this particular project so uh, when we talk about the font just click over there and you will just go to the home and you will find that it is a calibri body and the font size is 11. for the heading i have used the source sans that is 18 pixels for the one two or three you can see here i have used the square 721 bt and the size is 36 so these are the few uh, font families and uh, font size which uh, you have to use in project and it will definitely 
gives a pleasant look or beautiful attractive look to your presentation so guys please uh, use these fonts uh, as i have suggested in this video and you will definitely get a pleasant look of your presentation or project so i'm just going to change the steps heading here like uh, this is the first step you have to do and the second one and this is the third step you have to do and in this way the tutorial is completed now it's time to conclude it but before i conclude i just uh, want to request you guys i have been making these videos from the last years and still i don't have uh, still i do not get a much response from the viewers on this channel so this takes a lot of work and a lot of hard works day and night i just work on day and work on that uh, to provide you a free templates or materials on my blog so if you like the video then don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to share the videos and if you have any query guys then please write in the comment box i will try to reply you as soon as possible so that's all for today guys see you in the next tutorial till now thanks very much for watching bye bye and take care